Yeah. What would you consider success after your tenure ends? Like I said, good football, but at the end, good football will end in good results. You know, and if anybody at the end of the day will say the way we played was bad, then I take it as my loss. Like I said, sometimes in football, it's whether the ball goes on the post and in or out, it's inches which can decide about your future. And it's very difficult to, to predict uh, results, but I'm a strong believer if you prepare well, if you give the players the joy and the, they have the joy with the ball, if you give this to the player the chance to play with the ball, to bring out the bigger strength, then I'm, I'm very, very uh, convinced that we will be successful. Yeah, and coach, yes. Our training, yeah, 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 I'm not quite. We had to make, you know, as as always, we always had to make uh, changes here and there. So, um, but we'll give out shortly a day where we where we have an open training session. And I know it's very very important um, um, for for the Ghanaians also to to see the players. Um, I really understand this, but for me, the biggest concern is like. Because we having just six days, seven days of preparation, I will have everyday tactical sessions. Because, like I, like I said, I'm a strong believer of giving out knowledge, and we want the players to know what they have to do. In term, we uh, they are leading. In term, we are leading. In terms of, uh, uh, I don't know, we get a red card. I want to go out through every scenario, and therefore I have to prepare the team tactically well. And if this, these tactics are being filmed and the opponent can see what we're doing and they, they can prepare well. I hope you understand that it's, it's, it won't benefit, benefit us. So for this, I have to say sorry for not letting all the session being open. I'm very, very sorry for that. And um, Coach, my name is... Thank you. I want to say that I am a confident as regards if of the training session will be open to the public. Yes. At the moment, no decision has been made yet. Thank you. My name is Kweku Zurich. I work with the Daily Graphic and Graphic Sports in Accra. And Coach, um, the last time that you were here, you left um, after you saw out your deal. Does it feel like you are coming back because you have some unfinished business? And I would like to know what that business is. Uh, to, I mean, that's, it's so the last time I came, the aim was to qualify for the World Cup. And we did it, and I think we were pretty close. Even though we lost 2-0 against Uruguay, we were pretty, pretty close to advance to the next stage. Um, and for me, it's, 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 it's never, it's not an unfinished business. Uh, for me, it's just like an opportunity for me personally to, to get the best out of the, 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 the boys. Um, the last time I was um, called, we didn't do well at the AFCON. And um, this time, and um, also we have to be honest, we didn't do well. So we are not on top of Africa at the moment. And, and if, if this would have been the case, uh, I wouldn't have been called. So for me, it's just to improve the, the, the players, improve the, the, yeah, the situation of the national team. And yeah, we try as much as we can to, to qualify for the World Cup. And I'm very, very convinced that we have the quality to do that. And this is the, the biggest aim at the moment. Yeah, coach. We didn't the Philippe OPP in Zagi PPN. We didn't have to answer you. The question is about Kope. And my name is Eli Owa. Why a coach? From World Cup, Afcon qualified before Afcon. The goalkeepers, in the game, your ball distribution make me to make kind of a 50 ball distribution from a single goalkeeper. Many will live in pay. I be see the player so yeah, can you cope in the world? Walk up, pass on my back. Then I'll be a bit briefly goalkeepers. No, I'll be now. The problem am I a goalkeeping department? No, I also leave me problem. Maybe I just have a family lion because. Made a minier goalkeeper coach, but but we were planned at the same line, but to go young goalkeeper, so it's 
bomb is make sure say oba oba training sa distributions no but in general brand me war me coach no um 2022 who was statistics and so on how was the statistics okay okay eh, okay make sure say better into don't worry <laughs> Kelvin also wants a TB3. Um, Coach, we know um, you've been a talent developer for quite, you know, a long time. And we know this Black Stars team made up of, you know, up and coming young, talented Ghanaian footballers. Will they always have the priority in any selection you make? And how is that going to feed into you building a very solid national team that can last the test of time? I think the, the only thing, uh, uh, the only way it will feed in, into to my suggestion is like, I mean, but this has been done before as well. There were always young talents who have been given the chance to play for the national team, and I'm open. For me, it's not about, it's not, surely it's important to have experienced players in the, in the team, surely, it's very, very important, um, because they can guide the young guys, but if somebody is good, um, you will always get a chance. And I don't care about the age. Okay, coach, my name is Benjamin Osu, um, Angel Broadcasting Network. First question is on Andrea. I know you have already answered the Andrea part, but um, I want you to clear this so that every Ghanaian will be um, clear in his mind on the state of where Andrea you on uh, in the national team, please. Um, is he coming back again in the national team or the decision you took is at the moment because he's the general uh, he's the captain for the team and he has a lot of role um in the team so will andrea return to the team or the decision you took is a final decision on him he's not coming back again in the team the second one is your technical team um german um assistant coach is joseph Laumann and also um john pinto and lion please was it your recommendation or is something the FA um, appointed themselves for you? Please, can you answer that? Okay, the, the first question. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I'm, uh, what I learned about listening, I think there was a question about uh, from which coach I took some this and that. I would never say never as a coach, never. Because I don't know what will happen in next season. Um, the door is always open. Uh, but this is a decision for this this period, and that's it. And um, uh, like I said, what I learned is never say never, never, because you don't know what will happen. And yeah, so don't. Yeah, with the with the backroom stuff. I mean, I had a lot of talks. I had a lot of talks, and. Um, also, there were some proposals from the FA, but I also had a lot of talks with, with, with other coaches. And, um, and uh, at the end, we decided, I mean, it was easier for me, especially with John. And um, but I, I know them from the national team, so it's easier. We, I know that they're good human beings. So this is the first very, very important point for me, because I truly believe that once you know people personal and you know their character, it's easier to deal with them, especially in in bad situations. So it was an easy choice for me. Although, like I said, I had a lot of talks and a lot of people are also considered. Um, so at the end, by the end, it was, it was my decision. Um, we had good talks and like I said, it's easy, especially with John, we played uh, the World Cup 2006 together and um, we had a good relation there as well. And um, always kept contact so it was an easy decision and with joseph um from germany um i got to know him like one year ago we had a lot of talks uh technical talks especially and i got to know his character through a friend um, who's a friend of his so yeah at the end um, i think it, um, from what i saw the last uh, time we met in march um i made very very good decision i'm very very happy you know especially these two boys are hard working, um, very, very hard and high work ethic. Um, 
very, very good inputs, what they gave me so far, and I'm um, very, very happy with them. Good morning. Okay, friend me Joyce. May he had more top media group. My first question, a hey, uh, uh, goalkeeper, you know. My name is Dreams Goalkeeper, I call semi final of uh, uh, Confederations Cup. Mm -hmm. My dear my goalkeeper, I call the name Why Frederick Asari? I know you're one. Two, now, no, I think so many uh, new players. My name is John Pinto, I see a different penny for you. What can you see a different Suleiman Tadio? These players, why no more learning from? Okay, uh, a goalkeeper's choice. Yeah, I think he has done well. I think the team, uh, especially, has done well to go far uh, in this uh, stage. And we decided for Frederick because Frederick also has let us speak about Frederick, like I said. Probably it's easier to speak about players who are here um, and not to talk about players who are not here. And Frederick. Uh, gave me a really, really good impression, and um, from the games I saw uh, at uh, Kotoko, um, he was injured for some time, but now he's back on track. And um, also, when we were training, he really, really did well in training from what I saw. And I'm always close with with Lion, and Lion, Lion also assured that at the moment, uh, Frederick's really, really in a very, very good condition, good form. And that's why we decided to go with uh, Frederick. And he's a young player. We think the future belongs to him. We see how far it goes. And um, yeah, I think it's a good decision. He's a good good guy, good team player, um, um, hard work ethic. He's listening. He's a learner. Um, he Last time when he came, he cooperated well with the other goalkeepers and the, and the goalkeeper coach and also with the other players. Um, everybody likes him, so I'm happy that he's he's, he's back again. Second question was what again? Who are there? Ah, there's so many players that you learn from. I mean, we have uh, Thomas Pate, uh, 29 uh, years old. Jordan Ayu, 32 years old. We have uh, Alex Jiku, uh, he's 30 or oh, yeah, 30. So we have a lot of experienced players who has been in the World Cup, who has uh, done uh, two, three African Cups. Um, so there are a lot of uh, players that can learn from. Hello, coach. I'm Delali. My question is a bit away from the tactics to your personality as a coach, because I believe coaches, your personality also counts. If you look at the technical team, at least three of you are former Black Stars players yourself and you have also played at the world cup before what does it mean to have players that have played for the national team before as head coaches of the national team and what does it mean when things get tough and your personality and what how will it count when games become tougher okay to be honest to you it means nothing because because you have been a good player, doesn't mean that you have to be a good coach. This is the, the first thing. But surely the experience we had as players or playing at the World Cup, surely if, if we use it wise and we reflect on our experience, so it's the most important thing, not maybe the experience, but the reflection on the experience, which will help you to give better advice for those who are in the situation, in the same situation you were 20 years ago. So and this is what you have to think of before you meet the players. This is what we talk about, and how we prepare before we meet, and then we give our expertise and our experience insights into the players and to the players to take good decisions. And this is what we can do. And in this case, surely it helps. But the first thing, and what this is what we're doing, we have to reflect reflect on our uh, uh, experience. Um, good morning, Coach. I am I, I think, in I think at the end, sorry, sorry, I think there's so few ladies here, you should take all the ladies to each other. But 
before we leave. Yeah, 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 there's so few ones. So the ladies they can talk, but uh, but no, you can. We we we, no, we we go we go on we go on we can go on, but at the end, we give the ladies respect and we ask them also. Okay. Um, yeah. my name is Karim with Joyce Force. My question is about um, Baba Rama. We've mm. seen what he's done this season. Before he he was not invited for the last two, is it three windows? There was an incident in Kumasi that led to that. He released a statement saying that he needs some time off to um, uh, clean his mind and for the next one. Have you spoken to him? What is the situation with him uh, before these uh, invitations? Yeah, surely I, I've, I've uh, seen his, perform I've seen his uh, performance. I talked to him. Um, but uh, at the moment, he's not ready to, to come back. Um, I don't know exactly what he experienced with the national team, but maybe I want to take this opportunity also to, to, yeah, to, to indicate that every one of us has a high responsibility. Um, I don't know what happened um, after that game, but um, surely it affected him and his family. And... Um, I think we as human beings can do better than than doing such things for, for somebody who's giving his best for his nation. We have a lot of players who are sacrificing a lot. They can't be at their uh, daughter's birth, birthday party. They can't be at their wife's wedding. Uh, or, or of their, uh, Not the wife's wedding, it doesn't make sense. At, the, at, at any at the brother's wedding or sister's wedding, they, they don't go to funerals because they're here. Um, they sacrifice a lot to be with the team to help Ghana to succeed. And when the answer is when they don't perform, that we have to bully him and insult him. And and I don't know. It doesn't for me. It does, it's not good. It's not good enough. And this is not my responsibility. It's all of our responsibility, especially the media. Um, and for me, anybody who talks, ex and it's not like like who's personal who's personal on somebody, you will never look good, in my eyes. You will never look good. And that's why I won't talk openly bad about a player or whatsoever. I will never look good. And I mean, anybody who does it, whether he's right or wrong or whatever, you will never look good. If it's, um, if it's not personal, it's just maybe tactically or performance-wise, okay, that's okay. But if you go beyond that, I don't think it's helpful. And in this case, I think we would have needed him very, very much. Um, I had a long talk with him. Um, I even wanted to, to, to fly to his place to talk to him, but um, he was very, very sure that he won't come at this moment of time, he won't come back. And uh, it's very, very sad that it's our fault that he's not coming back. Coach, I'm also a candidate from Vision One FM. I want to know if you do watch his um, highlight of the Ghana Premier League. If yes, I want you to describe the standard of the Ghana Premier League. Yeah, it's, I think it's it's difficult. There's so many teams. There are so many different players. And I think I don't think this is the right frame. We can we can talk about it another time, but this is the right frame to talk about because it's not it's not like this is the standard, you know. There's so many teams who have done well, and there are also some teams we need to improve. But it's it's difficult because to measure because for me as an outstander to to I don't know how much let's say uh, uh, money they have to build a team, how, how what are the conditions, everything. So it's very very difficult for me to, to judge on, on, on the standard of the league. You know, it's, 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 it's impossible. Thank you for the opportunity. Um, Ghana's goal scoring abilities has been a challenge for us for some years now. And I would love to know from you if you can share with us what measures you put in place to make sure we overcome this challenge as we go forward. Very good question, very good question. Um, I think this will be uh, one of the parts we will work on. We discussed it with the coaching staff. 
So this is a very good question. And um, every, every game is different, I have to say. So sometimes you have more space which you can attack. Sometimes you have smaller space which makes it difficult for you to score. But there it's about uh, creating solutions. Okay. Solution, and this is also one part of the training to be solutions how we can can score goals and at the end it's 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 about the players who hopefully will transcend this ideas in, on the pitch but um yeah it's not easy uh, um it's 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 different if you play in europe there are different conditions there are different pitches the, the weather is cooler um so we have to adapt to 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 the situations where we're in and um, still we can do better um and uh, we try our best to implement our ideas into how we can score more goals. Good morning, Coach, and you welcome mm -hmm. back to the Black Stars team. Thank you. Um, my question has to do with the, before the World Cup, we were speaking to a number of players, especially those who were born in the diaspora. And today we are hearing that Callum hudson Odoi has agreed to play for Ghana. If it is true, how does he fit? Or how will he fit into um, the team you want to start building from today? Yeah, it's difficult to talk about the future. And um, I haven't talked to him yet. So once uh, he's ready, in general, our doors always open. Um, but um, our full concentration is now on the Mali game. And this is a bright future. It's, it's difficult to, it's not that easy or not. We can't bring in players who have played who have been playing for another national team before, so they need to get released from, well, in his case, from England, and then goes to FIFA, and FIFA will send the, the release to us, and then we can apply for him. So it's a, it's a whole process which, which is going on. And um, uh, to be honest, I'm, my head is not there at, at, at all. So my head is fully on Mali, on the boys who, which are here, and uh, concentration is fully on them, and uh, we will have to make everything anything happen to win this game. There's one lady there. <laughs> She's not a journalist. Okay, there's uh, a lady. Yes, your lady. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you speak. I'm sure we'll, we'll, we'll hear. Uh, I can't really judge on how they played before. Um, I can just talk for my period of time when I was here as a national coach, and um, I think we really did well. And this is the same culture and habits which I want to implement, implement into the team. And um, surely we will, the closer we, we get together and to support each other, the more success we will have. And this is what I try to implement. And I'm very, very sure um, the, the, the players will understand and will, will fulfill it um, we don't have time for uh, any personal things um, like i said we have to work together as a team and this is the only way we can have success and um, i think the players they'll know um, thank you very much but it's good to see you good to see you too uh there's not a question is a little piece of advice. Um, there are two very difficult jobs in Ghana. Number one, the president of Ghana and the coach of the Black Stars. You are the official coach, but the real coaches are here. So the criticisms will come in. Some will be caustic. Some will be very vitriolic. Some will be too primitive, but in all that, just relax <laughs> and understand that as journalists, we mean well. So don't take the criticisms personal, but they will come in fast and thick because you've, you've heard some of the
tactics and systems already coming from some of the colleagues. Whether you're going to play the route system or whether you're going to play the Mourinho system. So they will definitely come. But in all that, just understand that we're in this together and we want to see the good of the team. Thank you very much. Thank you. I would like to thank you for uh, making time to be with us this evening. Uh, once again, let me mention that officially the team is in preparation tomorrow. Uh, the team will be in camp tomorrow. Our first training session is scheduled tomorrow to go to Tuesday when the team are playing um, for Tomato. The game against Mali is on Thursday, June 6th. Um, the team will fly back to Ghana. Kumasi, to be precise, to um, continue preparation for the second game against Central African Republic. Like a coach mentioned, um, some of the sessions will be open, not all of them. Please bear with us because um, he needs time to go through his tactical drills as we prepare for the two important matches. We are grateful for your company. Enjoy the rest of your Wednesday and let's um, start rallying around um, the flag and also uh, push our black stars to victory um, in next month's qualifiers. Thank you, coach. Thank you to the technical team as well. Thank you, everybody. Enjoy your day. We go squawk, kata, kata. Black stars, we come to fire, fire. No retreat, no surrender. Hey, bring back the love, where you say you get for your country. Forget the past, go, go, go. We run out of the Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.